welcome to my channel sci and code uh, in this video we will do some practice on the data type we have learned earlier that is list tuple dictionary and set data types so let's begin uh, so the first uh, uh, question is that need to create a dictionary that stores the employee id and the name of three employees so let's see how we can do that so need to create a variable first d equal to Uh, we can uh, denote dictionary inside the curly brackets so we need to add employee id and name of three employees so the name of name will be uh, our key and the value will be the employee id so let's uh, write the name john that same value will be 345 then sam employee id will be 789 then uh, the third name we can use is Joy, the employee ID the employee ID will be seven eight six. So we have created a dictionary. So let's print this dictionary. Print D. So this is the result we got after printing the value now the second uh, problem is that due to mistake in employee id of one employee change the employee id so let's uh, uh, assume that the employee id of sam789 is mistakenly typed the new employee id is uh, 730 so how can we change that employee id so to do that we need to uh, access that employee id by uh, using the slicing method so d and then what is the key name it is sam and then uh, what uh, value we can we need to change as a 730 now let's print the result that is d so you can see that uh, employee id of sam has been changed to 730 okay uh, let's move to the next problem that sort the dictionary according to the name of the employee so we have the dictionary where uh, we have the name so to do that we use uh, sorted method uh, keyword to sort the dictionary d so let's see what will be the example here so the dictionary has been sorted it is john joy and sam so john joy and sam so the dictionary has been sorted according to the uh, key and it will print the key as a result that is the properties of dictionary when you sort it let's see the another example in this problem we need to create two sets and print their union intersection union intersection difference and symmetry so let's create the set one set one equal to the set will be uh, also enclosed in curly brackets one three five six eight nine 
okay the set two equal to two three five six eight four one so we have two sets here now uh, as per the problem we need to create union interaction difference and symmetry so let's print the result s1 union we can uh, instead of union we you we use this symbol for the union one s2 for this is for union for intersection we will use s1 and and symbol for the intersection so for intersection we are using and symbol here intersection print for difference we will use s1 minus s2 for difference and uh, for symmetric uh, difference we will use uh, s1 and this symbol and s2 for symmetric difference let's send the all the code so we got uh, the set here uh, that is mm. so um, in the union we got all the element in the uh, in, in both the set and uh, duplicate has been removed in intersection we got only the uh, the common in element in both the set and in uh, difference there is no uh, there is no different element in set 1 so we got only empty set and in the symmetric difference we got 2 because uh, Two is the only one that is not in not intersection like not common in both the set. So let's move to the next problem. Uh, that is create a list, convert into set, and print the length of the set. So let's get into it. So create a list. Let's uh, take a variable l and assign a list that will. 2 comma 5 comma 6 comma string then tuple name and then again 2 5 6 true so we have created this list and let's uh, print a result where we'll get the length uh, converted into set so so to do that use the typecast set and inside it print put the variable l and then we need to print also the length of set so l length and then copy it paste it so we got a uh, set where uh, the duplicate has been removed and uh, the set is also an unordered and there is no index on set so there is unordered you can see that true is coming first name is coming second and string is coming third so these this is there is no order on this set so and 256 is uh, coming two times in list but it is now uh, only unique value is inside the set and the length of set is 6 
create a tuple of integer and sort the tuple so in this problem we need to create a tuple of integer and then need to sort it to do that let's create a tuple first so t equal to tuple always uh, enclosed in the braces round braces and uh, let's create a integer tuple So we have created an internet tuple. Now we need to sort it. So use sort, sort it. T. We got a list of sorted tuple. So always we will use sort method on tuple. It will give us the list as a output. Okay, you can check it is by. So this is one concept we have to learn that uh, when we we'll use sorted matter in tuple, it will give us the output as a list data type. Okay. Let's move to the next problem. That is, we have a tuple, and we have to print the third element in the tuple. So we, uh, how can we do that? To print the third element in the tuple, uh, first we need to check. Need to check them because tuple follow the index, so we can do slicing in the tuple. So tuple one, what is the third element? We can count it from the left side from zero, zero one two three. So one uh, two three. Th the world is the third element. So we do print the third element. We use two here and then and this code. So we got a world as a third element of the. We need to print it. So to do that print so we got an answer uh, after printing the result we got a world so world is the third element in this tuple so tuple follow the index and slicing okay so the second problem is about the relationship finding the relationship inside the data type so it is saying that uh, if we, we need to find that the letter s is present or not in the particular list to do that we will use the in method i n in method in this method we just need to use that particular uh, element which i need to find it is in or not so s in L only. So it will get true or false. If it is present, then it will true. If it is not present, then it is true or false. So it is true. So S is in the list. This is the S where it is in the list. So by using the in keyword, we can check if that particular element is present in the data type set or list in the dictionary. In that list, sorry. The last problem we have is to create a nested list which consists of a three employee and their attendance in June and July month so to do that uh, first we need to take a variable list and then we need to create a nested list so to do the nested list we have to create then the first three employee and then so let's take it in three employee at uh, their employee id that is 34 67 this is the first nested list for the employee id then their attendance so for their attendance we have to take in june and july month so First, we take as a July month attendance, and then second, we will take it as a June month attendance. So, first July month attendance will be 23 days, some has a 28 days, some of has a 20 days for July month, for June month, sorry, and for the July month, some has a uh, 15, 26 days, some have 24 days. Some has 29 days. 
so this is the nested list we created for the attendance of three employee first uh, nested list will denote it as a uh, um, employee id second one will denote attendance of june month and third will denote as attendance of july month so this all uh, we can uh, this all operation we can do on the non primitive data type that is tuple dictionary list and set we have more problem on this we will see it in the next video till now uh, i am ending this video here and if there is any question regarding this video or another video regarding the topic we have covered till now you can ask me in the uh, comment section so thanks for watching the video and if you like the video do hit the like button and subscribe it for more information to get more updates on the channel thanks for watching and have a good day thank you